What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back with another video and today guys we're going to rip the three pack blisters from the new set Surging Sparks. What is going on Hilltop TCG family? Guys that's right today I have the three pack blisters from the new set surging sparks and i don't just have these two three pack blisters i have 12 total six of each why 12 total because that's 36 packs worth of three pack blister packs or a booster box worth because you know what nick's got to understand those ratios and you know we got to understand the value in these three packs as well so first thing we got to do is check out the market to understand the values all those things so market wise right now markets insane guys markets on this surging spark set is absolutely insane so again this is a pre-order price but i don't think the market's going to change too much even after release on this i think it's just going to get more expensive because the vast majority of shops at this point have received their product and market prices hasn't gone down which is crazy to me i think this product if you can get it around msrp you should pick it up it might dip a little bit but i don't think it's going to touch anywhere close to like the 110 115 dollar mark for booster boxes i just don't think it's gonna happen unless they do a massive repaint reprint here around christmas so that's my opinion my thoughts on it but guys we got three pack blisters so they're 17.23 on tcg player the msrp for around 13 dollars and 50 cents i think maybe it's 12.99 still um probably 12.99 i think let's do some math real quick in my head 12.99 i'm pretty sure that's the case i should know this stuff before i start streaming is that equal no that's less so it should be i think it's 13.49 or 13.99 either way they are a few dollars over msrp there's not a ton of sales happening on here though there's only six sellers there's only one on average selling per day this isn't three pack blisters aren't to go buy online three pack blisters are to pick up at your lgs or at your big box retailers like walmart and target probably the most accessible thing on those shelves so you're going to see a lot of those there so Instead of buying a booster box, is it worth going and paying MSRP? Because that would be $161.64 or whatever that is, plus tax. But look at this, guys. Booster boxes, $160. So it's sixes, right? Either way, you're going to go spend the same amount of money on these three-pack blisters, or you're going to spend the same amount of money on a booster box. That hasn't been the case in the last few sets. Booster boxes in the last few sets have been around $110, $115 on the release. So it was a no brainer to go buy a booster box every time because the value um, was just incredibly there, right? Booster boxes were so cheap that the per pack cost just was unbeatable. But prices are sixes at this point. You might as well see how awesome the hits are out of three pack blister besides a booster box. So we're gonna see how awesome the hits are now on these three pack blisters. So I got, um, again, six each of them, or yeah, six of each art. So we got the Quagsire. We'll take a little peek ski at that right, right real quick. Love that Quagsire. We'll take a closer look of up at it here after I get them out of their packs. And then the Zapdos, obviously way more popular than the Quagsire. But pretty stock standard on these. You don't get a coin anymore. It's just three packs and the promo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up all six or 12 of these and we're going to get to ripping. Boom. All right, you guys, I got all 36 gorgeous packs out. So we got the Quagsires and we got the Zapdos is here to take a look at. So there is the Quagsire. I love Quagsire as a Pokemon. Got the Galactic Foil on that, and then we have the Zapdos as well. Got the Galactic Foil, and obviously, I think Zapdos is the ultimate winner on this one, 100%, no doubt. So, here we go, guys. We have 36 packs. Got the Quagsire side, got the Zapdos side, okay? So, I'm weird like that and want to understand which three packs have better hits, too. So, we'll keep an eye on that. So, let's put these over here. And, you guys, before I get into this first pack, hey, don't forget to like this video. Smash that subscribe button. Click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video. All that goes such a long way. It means a bunch, guys. So please go do it. All right, first pack in, you guys. Here we go. So again, we're at sixes here. It's either $160 for a booster box or $160 for three-pack blisters. Um, it's it's basically, oh, I'm so used to ripping and sorting stuff right now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, it really is sixes. So I do think the three-pack blister is much more accessible for a lot of people within the United States um because they might not have a local game store close by them i'm um, an lgs that has booster boxes right or just one close to them or in general so they can't just go pick up a booster box um but most people have a walmart or potentially target by them so 
going into a Walmart and Target and seeing a, a freshly stocked shelf of Pokemon and it's got the new set, it might be worth it for you to go buy 12 three-pack blisters um, instead of ordering one online because one, you're going to get it right there. And if the ratios are just as good or if not better, then you should be pretty confident in your purchase. So I think that's why a lot of people love these. Um, these move off the shelf so quickly. Um, and historically, they've had really good hits. I think they've they've made them neutralized in the last few sets, probably since the uh, Scarlet and Violet era. Um, I haven't had any three-pack blisters that have just blown my mind um, in, a, in a large opening. Hopefully, today is different. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I, I do love the three pack blister. I hate that they took away the coins. I think that was such a, a cheap, cheap thing to do. Obviously, um, I mean their coins aren't the coolest thing in the world, but it's just Pokemon cut and cost, right? And that's fine. It's whatever. But um, and I think they started charging us more too. So the Amulet of Hope. So we got a few hits here. Um, we got some pick me up to do on like the bangers. We got the illustration rare Mesprit. I think that Mesprit's the most common one. The Mesprit and the Slack Off, the big green guy laying in the grass, like they are super common, um, which I found was pretty interesting. You think they would do kind of a, a fair spread of illustration rares, but they're super, super duper common. Hey, the Doug Trio with the blonde flow, love that card. Again, some good hits, haven't seen any full art texture yet, and as I've been yapping, I'm almost done. I'm almost done with this right stack with the Zapdos. Again, reminder, these are the Zapdos packs. So Zapdos is okay. I'm um, gonna be cool to hit an illustration or an SIR, but you know, we can't can't get too greedy on it. Can't get too greedy here. So let's see, we got four packs left. I'd love to see some textured action though. Maybe anything Pikachu. Anything Pikachu would be awesome to see. But we're getting kinda kinda skunked on the full art love here. What do you guys think about Surging Sparks? Like, obviously we're we're quite a few videos deep on the Surging Sparks. Um, front right now. Are you guys still amped up? Are you excited for release day to get your LGS and pick up product? Are you watching streamers do it right now, doing pack rips? Are you excited to go raid a target? Or are you pretty neutral? Are you going to master set at all the things? I think, I think out of all, all the sets, I'm pretty, I'm pretty keen on master setting this one. I think it's, it's big, so it's going to be challenging a lot. There's tons of cool cards, not just Pikachu in this set. So, um, Tons of desirable cards. I think it, I think it's going to be a good one to master set for people. Uh, in my opinion, going to be not not too tough. I did a ratio video. I think on the last one or two. Um, go check it out. But pretty good ratios on this. Like it's it's worth your money to to pick these up. So there are the Zapdos ones across the top. Didn't see any full art love. So what I'm looking for here too is quantity of hits and then quality compared to a booster box, right? So a booster box ratio should have two illustrate or three A specs, should have three illustration rares, and probably three full arts, and then the rest of the stuff fill it. So we we don't have any any full art action right now. So hopefully we hit something with full art texture here to help juice it up. But we want to really meet that um ooh the celery that's still a good one. We really want to meet that booster box ratio to, so you're confident as a consumer going picking up 12 of these if you're not have if you don't have the access to a booster box so that cast worm super sick we're getting tons of like good hits though we got our illustration where we've met our max there um we've met our a spec um expectation there now we just gotta hit full arts we only have probably 12 packs or so left so we gotta hit some full arts in these last few packs to make it reasonably similar to a booster box right now oh nick always fumbling on the packs here at least once a video and messing up his beautiful board the ocd gets triggered instantly trying to trying to like see like it's just every three packs right every three packs is a three pack blister so i haven't seen any like massive back to back to hit so if you're gonna get a hit it's probably one on average, per Rob is gonna add them up and do the little count thing here, but oh, there we go. There's the other most common one I told you guys. I said the Mesprit and the Slack Off are the most common ones, and we hit both of them. It's a, it's a thing, guys. It's 100% a thing here, so let's see. Yeah, there's not there's not been any like back-to-back-to-back -back -back kits. There hasn't been one like an outstanding three-pack blister um, compared to everything else, so. We got, goodness, four packs left. So we gotta have, out of these four packs, we gotta have three full arts. 
That's a little concerning right here, guys. It's a little concerning. And nothing there. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, uh, my, uh, hopes have completely diminished here. Yeah, when you, when you're hoping for the last few packs for a hit, your hopes are completely gone. Let's see, though. Could I get surprised here? Come on, baby. Hey, there we go. We got a gold night stretcher. You are. Okay. All right. We got gold. I mean, that's our full art. Still need two more. We only got our last pack magic here. Let's see. What can we do? And a Latius. There we go. So, I mean, we got hits here. That last three pack blister did have two hits in it, including a gold card. So, there was at least one super cool one. But so, these are the um, Quag, Quag, Quagsire? Yeah, Quagsire, and then the Zapdos is up here. So very even, very even on the hit front. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. 12 hits out of 12 three-pack blisters. So that tells me right there, again, there wasn't a three-pack blister. That was just absolutely insane. And I was trying to trying to pay attention to the back-to-backness of things. So that last three-pack blister saved it, but it's on the super low end of a booster box ratio. It's probably between 12 and 16 hits. 12 and 16. Average is 14. I've seen 12. I've seen 16. I haven't seen anything less than 12. So this is on the super low end, and we're low on the number of full arts. We've hit everything we needed to besides the full arts. So keep that in mind when you're picking these up. Again, I do think this is a great buy. Um, if you don't have access immediately to a booster box and you don't want to order online, go in into your local Walmart, and if you see these, they I would still pick them up. I mean... Either way, you're paying 160 bucks, so you might, might as well pay it now or later ordering it. If you want to support your local game store, which I highly recommend, go pick a booster box. It's still probably the winner in this situation, but still a good looking board. What do you guys think about the three pack blisters and what do you guys think about the new set um, Surging Sparks? Hey, if you guys made it to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever's for you. Peace.